has helped them help the Sharks climb the table in that recent run. Now, I think that's Forti, and he, he, he scores, Jesse Forti. He got it, he ran around it so it was on his right foot, and it's a beautiful curler in off the underside of the crossbar. Step overs there from Hovar. Hovar. Brown got his foot in there, but Hovar keeps it. Caspers. Thought about crossing it, I think. Instead, play sideways. Now, there's the shot. It's a decent one, and it's a brilliant goal. The equaliser from Reese Yuli. Sharks scramble it away. Now, stood up, and Rose. Oh, does he get the second touch? It's Connor Rose, and he's beaten everyone to the ball. Connor Rose has put Sutherland Sharks in front. Gives it back to Nicolau. Looking to slide through. Armisen. This could be building here for Arpi. Had a great save by. Oh, it's in. It's gone in. Jack Stewart, I thought it might have gone just around the post. But it's in. Jack Stewart wasn't to be denied. Marlis had it. Who's allowed to bounce there? Otakura. Tried to intervene. Askew. Finding himself further forward. Here's Dakota Askew. Sliding it out to Rory Jordan. Here's Rory Jordan! And well finished! Askew. Familiar combination with Rory Jordan. In a similar position to where he scored. Still Rory Jordan. Now Simmons! And make it number three for Arpia. They're truly informed this evening. Well, one forward. Armson. Sliding around for Simmons. And number two for Sean Simmons. Number four for Arpia. Straight into the sky. Spirit bring it down. And Armson immediately looking for Sean Simmons. He has pace. This could be his hat trick. Sean Simmons has an open goal to aim for. And he gets his hat trick. It's been that kind of night for Sean Simmons and Arpia. It's going to be a great battle. Pufflet dropping deep now, it does brilliantly. Threads the ball through, this is lovely football, it's Parkhouse wins it across goal, and it's tapped in by Roy O'Donovan, who else? It... With this magical right boot of his, ball whipped in, middle of the box, it's over Soros, it's whipped into the back post, and it fizzes around like a pinball machine, and then it's tapped home for Marconi. And now it's Fernandez looking to burst free. He's got Costanzo out to his left. He finds him. Speranza's making the overlapping run. Costanzo goes himself, has a little bit of space. Now it's Dominic Costanzo! What a goal! Domenico Costanzo scores again! Juricic wearing that number 13, but there's nothing unlucky about his performance so far in the opening 60 or so. Kresner now with a bit of space with the cross goal, Darcy Burgess. Couldn't bring it down, oh! And it's hit a cross goal! And it's Peter Politis who equalizes for Sydney Olympic! With the equal best defense in the NPL, breached twice, once by Roy O'Donovan. And then a beautiful goal from Peter Politis. Lovely switch of play there for Speranza. Giorgio plays Costanzo. These two have linked up plenty of times. Looking very dangerous as Costanzo whips it in! And it's a fantastic goal! It's Cimenti! And this time, Costanzo goes from goal scorer to provider. Excellent cross. And then it's flicked in by Cimenti. He sends that one long. Then Mewers deals with it. Oh, lovely ball. It's Christopher Hatfield. Can he seal it for Marconi? Yes, he can! The Marconi Stallions are going to win this football game. Rangy. Harvey and Elrich are in there as well. And it's a great chance. And Djordjevic, what a terrific header. In his first season here at the Mount Drawtown Rangers, Djordjevic attacked it at the near post. Now it's back out through Pecora. It's a decent delivery. And what an effort that is. Sensational. From that man again, Marcus Eunice, with a stunning side volley to equalise there. And we haven't seen a 
different scorer all the way back to round eight. So it's been a, a dry spell apart from Sapsmith. Oh, what a mistake this is! This is a mistake that's been punished. Excellent work from Katsuda. Disciplined in their shape too. They're gonna to have to be disciplined from the defensive set piece here with Chalakian and Puyo over the free kick. It's Chalakian's delivery towards Griffiths, only palmed at and Urasevsky off the line by Paul, blasted in by Oydat. Thumping finish from the centre half. Two goals so far this season for the Frenchman. Pavlosic has asked for four in his wall. A small one either, nice pull in the middle of it, but good. Gibson, I know. Shorties. That's a good effort, brilliant goal. That's the quality he can produce, Loic Puyo. Danzo working it back forward. That's a beautiful ball from Koleski. And Danzo's got Urushevsky in the middle, who slips it through the legs of Pavlosic. Taylor's still showing plenty of running and he's beaten Winter to this ball. There's Blue Shirts in the middle with him as well. Trying to do it all himself. A wonderful individual effort from Clayton Taylor, which just gives the Sky Blues a sniff. Much looking for that man again. And he did enough to get it flicked on. Muraszewski, wrong side of the defense, pumped away by Pavlicic. And Casella with the easiest of tap-ins to seal the three points for Rockdale. These little blips to their performances. So deep in stoppage time. Taylor has his second. A cap on a very good individual performance from the 19 year old, but it's all going to be in vain. Nizic works it over halfway. Oh, couldn't get the header on there, could he? Pelikanos, Kuramilevsky's trying to clear it. Oh, Kaneko, trying to work it forward. Arkhamenos, this could well be the moment! Yeah. It is the moment! Patrick Anselmi!